In this video, we're going to go over using values and values list on our query set objects. To start, let's go ahead and look at our project. We're doing a basic movie database. So if we look at our models, we have a movie model with various fields. We have a job model that's going to be for like actor producer. And then we have a person, which is going to be for the people that are involved in movies. But notice also that there are movies and jobs that have many to many field relationships. So to get into the heart of what we're doing, let's go ahead and actually open up our shell and then do some queries. First, let's get all of our movies. And there we go, we have a list of all of our movies and we can actually look at our query that we use to get them. Notice how our select query is actually querying for each individual field in our model instead of like doing a star. This can actually become quite gruesome if it's a really big model and there are a lot of records. Let's say you have 50 million records and you have 40 fields in your model that you need to query, but you don't need the entire thing. What you can do is you can use instead of all or filter, you can use values and have it return back the ID and the title only. You'll get back a list of dictionaries of these. It'll save a lot of processing in your database. We can look at our query and you'll notice we're getting the ID and the title only in our query. Another format that you might actually want it is you might want this in a list. So you can actually use values list and set ID and title. And you'll get back a list of tuples of your ID and titles. And again, if you look at the query, it's the exact same that we just used. Another way you might want this data is you might want just a list of IDs. So we'll use values list and we'll tell it ID. Unfortunately, you're gonna get back a list of tuples with the first record of ID. To solve this, we're going to add flat equals true as a keyword argument, and it's going to get back our list of IDs and the IDs only. If we go ahead and look at our query, it's just the ID. Next, let's actually go ahead and set this query to IDs. Let's go ahead and get the type of, of this IDs, and you'll notice it's a values list query set. This is actually important to note because since it's a query set object and query sets are lazy evaluated, then you can actually continue to do work on this list. So if we'll do IDs and filter out and get all the movies that had a budget of over $50 million, you can see it evaluates out and we get the IDs only for those. So this adds a little extra power to your query sets when you're after just the IDs. So the question is like when and how can this be useful? If we'll jump over and look at our person objects, we have Morgan Freeman and Liam Neeson. And if we'll get just the IDs in a values list, then we have two and one. One way to use this is, hey, let's go ahead and get all of the movies where the person ID is in our list of person IDs. And notice this actually is going to error out on us. This is important to note because sometimes when you're assigning things or doing other particular things in Django, you might use person underscore ID with the ID in a list or just the ID itself. Since we're using a query set, then we're trying to match it based on the person itself. So as you can see in our list of available fields, we have person. So let's change person underscore ID to just be person and do our query again and it works and we get all of our movies back that have Liam Neeson and Morgan Freeman in them. So with that, that should give you a little better understanding of using values and values list to optimize your queries and also get back data structures that you need so you don't have to do some other type of funny evaluation or it helps you get a better slimmed down version of the data structures that you might need.